Another big concern, Jean de Villiers' serious knee injury. Um, now there's talk of uh, players like Franz Steyn, Jacques Ferry being sort of called out of international rugby retirement. Uh, do you think that uh, the team misses guys like that? Absolutely. In my opinion, Jacques Ferry was uh, a big shock to me. Mm. He could most certainly add enormous value, enormous experience to the, to the, to the World Cup squad. Um, obviously, there's a, a lot more um, other things in terms of uh, uh, factors behind the scenes mm. um, that, that need to be taken into account. Mm. But I think all the experience we can get, most certainly so, you know, the World Cup is every four years. Let's go make the best, uh, select the best possible players that we have available, whether local or abroad, and let's go win the World Cup. Mm. Now, James, your department uh, in the front row, uh, what are your thoughts of the current uh, our two? We've got two fantastic hookers in Bismarck mm. and Adrian Strauss. Um, it almost seems like Heineke is not entirely sure which, <laughs> which is his favourite. You know, they've both got, uh, you know, sort of complementary qualities, I guess. Yes. Um, what, do you th what do you think of our, our hookers? Well, it's most certainly a hotly contested uh, position at the moment. I think they're both uniquely different players. They bring different value. Um, but, um, you know, I think, again, Heineken needs to choose one and stick with that player. Mm. You know, life itself is about confidence. Sport is no different to life. So if you instill a, 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 a sense of, okay, I'm number one um, and I'm going to be playing week in and week out, it most certainly changes the dynamics within the team. And that is one thing that we had under Nick Mallett when we won those 17 consecutive uh, test matches. It was clear who were the starting 15 and who were the substitutes or even the midweek players. And, and that, that stood us in good stead. So, you know, it's difficult as a hooker to go and criticize other hookers, but the game has changed. Uh, mm. You know, it's become a lot more commercial. You don't have to necessarily be the best in your position to play 50 test matches for your country anymore. You can come off of the bench. Um, but uh, in saying that, depth is always good. But I think we need to identify who is number one and who is number two. Mm. And do you think Excuse uh, the pun. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the box scrum, I think for the most part this year has been pretty good. Yes. Um, but of course the interpretation of, of I mean the, the, the way that the scrum is officiated mm. um, has changed a lot since since your day. Uh, what do you think? You know, I must be honest, I still do not understand some of the penalty calls mm. or free kicks on, on the scrum top. Um, I don't think the players understand it. Um, in my opinion, it's not necessarily the best scrummager or the strongest scrummager that played like the old days where your mm. tight head was really brutally physically strong. Mm. Um, so, but yes, certain facets of our play has been very, very good. Our scrummaging has been consistent. Our line-up play has been consistent. Our overall play has uh, uh, also been good. I think at times we've let ourselves down with poor tactical decisions, mm. uh, maybe kicking a little bit too much playing the type of game plan that doesn't really suit ourselves. But again, you know, they say the devil's in the detail and, uh, you know, for me it's really about knowing that every game you have to play to win. You're not going to win simply because you're the Springboks playing Wales or you're the Springboks playing Ireland. Mm. You have to go and play to win nowadays. It's a professional era, not only in South Africa, but around the world. And that is why sides like Wales and Ireland can be competitive against South Africa. Mm. Just last question, you, you touched on tight head there. Um, that seems to be an issue. Um, who do you think is the best tight head in South Africa? You know, again, I'm, I'm never going to put myself <laughs> out there. Um, you know, like I say, just let's select a team that uh, is consistent and identify players. And, and uh, I wouldn't say at the moment that anyone is better than the other one. Um, the, the front row that we've had with Beast and, and, and Yanni, although I have my isolated criticisms of, of Yanni yeah. and Bismarck or Adrian, is a good front row and they perform for us. So we don't really have to go look uh, elsewhere. You know, obviously we need to be mindful that should there be injuries, mm. who do we bring up? But Kuni, Kuni did well uh, 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 on, on the weekend. Um, and. Uh, and we have an abundance of talent in this country. One thing we do, we have got more than enough talent. Mm. It's how you mend and blend that talent and how the coaches take the talent 
and, and make them believe in their abilities uh, and, and managing the team. That's the big thing, is how you manage that team to get results.